What's going on, YouTube modeling community? Pappy here at West Georgia Rods and Customs. I tell you what, guys, I have been waiting on this day for two months now. And I tell you what, the uh, last year when I was invited in, uh, it was by invitation only for the uh, uh, Unified Scale Auto Content Creators, a YouTube group bill. We built the 40 Ford last year, uh, which was Lucas C's choice. And uh, I tell you what, had fun with that. This year, we opened it up to everyone out there that has a YouTube, uh, either a YouTube page or Facebook or what have you, which uh, we've been following a lot of the builds going on the uh, uh, on YouTube as well as on Facebook, but we haven't dropped any, you know, final videos on it. Uh, my good buddy, Do Hobby Dude 007, Mr. Mark Batson, decided he wanted to do a two and a half uh, gainer uh, and a, with a triple twist off of the curb. And he uh, is now well known as uh, Mr. Busted Head. <laughs> but I tell you what, glad that Mark is okay. We extended the date out to uh, from January the 15th all the way up to March the 15th which gave a lot of us uh, a lot more time to, you know, get your bill completed, which really, you know, there's a uh, hate it that Mark got hurt, but it allowed us to, some of us, I finished mine way before uh, the deadline. I finished mine way before Acme, which was in November. I have taken this car to three shows. I showed it if uh, many of you that were at Acme in November, it was at Acme. I took it down to Jack's Con. I took it to Hope It Don't Snow and Spartanburg, and I brought it back to the Atlanta Con show uh, uh, this month uh, in March as well. So it's been around the world. Uh, I've actually had to do one repair on it. Uh, I was pulling it out of the case here at the house one day and accidentally almost dropped it, and I broke a uh, passenger side front wheel off of it, so I had to re-glue that in there. So it had to have a little triage, but no harm, no foul. But I tell you what, to no further ado, let's pull the let's pull the uh, let's pull the quilt off of this uh, build and let's talk about it. Boom! There you are, guys. I tell you what, we uh, we really had I really had fun. I w I had a great time watching everybody else put theirs together. Uh, everybody, and I tell you, everybody was, uh, pretty much, well, you know, the consensus was that Pappy was going to pro streak this thing, but no, I wanted to turn it into a streak freak. And this is what a streak freak to me looks like. Have it jacked up on all four corners. Uh, a big, uh, man, I tell you what, this engine, uh, is a, it's a Hemi engine blown, uh, two fours. Uh, we're just going to start talking about it. First, let's go around the car. Uh, being that uh, Mark decided uh, he wanted to do uh, the Roadrunners or the GTXs, which is uh, I had the GTX in my in my uh, stash. I decided that being that Mark was such a uh, he is I, man, I tell you what, he is a walking encyclopedia. If you want to know anything about the the Petty organization, so and that's where I kind of took uh, precedence in the creativity of this build right here by number one, I painted it, uh, petty, uh, basically petty, petty blue. And the stri uh, as far as the Plymouth decal back here, I felt like, uh, this is the story kind of, I always like to have a backstory with my builds. And the backstory to this is this would have probably been a car that was built by the petty enterprises, uh, you know, back in the day. Somebody probably bought, brought the car into Petty Enterprises and said, "This is how I want it built, and this is what this is their vision, and this is what they got." But this was my, and y'all always know, I, if I can dream it, I'm gonna build it. And this is this was my dream right here. So uh, just took a page out of what Mark enjoys with the Petty Enterprises, painted it blue, did a lot of bare metal foil around this. Uh, all the badging is right here where it says GTX. That is a uh, uh, that is bare metal foil. Any of the side marker lights is bare metal foil and with a little bit of accent paint in them. Let's talk about the tires and the wheels. These tires and wheels uh, are just parts box uh, tires and wheels. They're just a set of uh, 
uh, they're just a set of old style Americans that I just painted the centers gold and uh, some big old fat meats in the back. Those are actually pro street tires in the back. I did a, we'll go up underneath it here in just in a minute and we'll show you what's, uh, what's going on up under it as far as the suspension. Any, back here in the back, the Plymouth, that's all bare metal foil. Uh, basically how I did that was uh, I just put some bare metal foil over the letters and uh, painted over it, then took a, a Q-tip, and we, uh, we got, the, uh, got that accent uh, come out where it says Plymouth, uh, and as well as on the GTX right here. So we'll keep coming on around. Uh, got the, uh, uh, give you a little side view right there. Just, we flocked the interior uh, as far as flocked the, uh, the floorboard got that done. Uh, just two toned the interior with a with a light blue and a gray, and I tell you what, it just uh, it just really it turned out so well uh, with this. Let's pull the hood off of this thing. Uh, I was telling you earlier that we did a Hemi uh, engine, and there that thing is. That was a beast. Uh, we cut out the fender wells. Uh, that way you can get a lot of air around it and get that big old Hemi to fit down in there. Plumbed it, wired it, uh, used the parts, uh, parts by park uh, air cleaners on top of that, and I'll uh, we'll set it back down, and then we'll just spin it on around. We'll give you a little bit of front view right there. Use the GTX tag to come in the front, black wash the grill, let me pull this thing right on around. Then we're going to pull, we'll pick it up right there, and you can see that engine. And you can see straight down through to the floor itself. Now, as far as the suspension, I was talking, mentioned earlier, I did a, uh, had a gasser front end. Uh, I think I used it, I think it was out of the uh, Revell uh, station, one of the Ford station wagon kits. We had to cut it down uh, to get it to fit up under there. And if you look up right there on the mirror itself, a lot of detail painting went up under it, but got that gasser uh, springs to set up under there and uh, got that stance that I was looking for uh, in it. I just took the uh, just the stock rear end and uh, we uh, put a little spacer block in between it to get that eye ride uh, up in the, in the rear itself. Uh, exhaust that is just a set of uh, uh, it's just a set of uh, mufflers that uh, I had they were parts box mufflers did the uh, aluminum uh, just took KNS aluminum tubing made the uh, exhaust all the way to the back and we just cut them off with a uh, kind of a baloney cut straight out the back and then we just did a lot of detail painting on the frame on the gas tank like that We'll leave this hood off right here, but we're going to give it another spin around. Let y'all take a look at it. Y'all tell me what you think. I tell you, this was a, uh, I tell you, man, I tell you, it was a just a fun bill. Had a blast doing this one. It was a great choice uh, on Mark's behalf of doing, uh, you know, picking these old uh, monogram, uh, a, I think it's monogram, uh, monogram, this is what this one was. And, um, uh, Either doing the uh, uh, the Roadrunners or the GTXs, but now nah, I decided I not I'm not doing a Pro Street. I'm gonna do a Street Freak. But let's keep let's just keep giving it a spin around. Let y'all get a one last look at it. But there we go. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that bad boy part right there. I'm gonna take that hood. We're gonna drop that back on there just like that. We're going to call this one in the books. Let me see if I can get a little bit meaner stance on it. Let's go back around her right here. Look at that blower. That blower just, man, would you hate, <laughs> wouldn't you just love to see that pulling up on you at a, at a, at a car show, something like that? Or maybe you're just sitting at a red light and you hear that whine of that blower coming up. There you go. There's a the money shot right there. Guys, really enjoyed doing this. Been enjoying watching everybody, uh, watching theirs come together. Uh, just really can't, uh, I really just can't uh, speak better, a better choice uh, for doing one of these old Mopars right here. But hope y'all enjoyed this. We're going to, 
I'm going to drop this probably at midnight. I'm going to try to drop it at midnight. So uh, hope everybody enjoyed this. LC, Mark, great job hosting this. Looking forward to doing it next year. Remember, folks, if you can dream it, build it. God bless y'all. Happy out of here.